Hello and herzlich willkommen to SZ Paddy's Minecraft Seed Finder, where I search for a seed for your Minecraft world. In today's week, I don't have a seed for you because uh, I was working on a new project, which you can see in the background. But first, let me tell you uh, the seeds with all biomes within 2000 blocks that we covered in the last weeks. I want to publish all of them now in the description so you can find uh, 19 of the 20 seeds. Uh, that I found with all balance within 2000 blocks in the description if you want to check them out yourself and uh, One is missing because I was using the, uh, this one for new area door So I won't publish that one, but all the others uh, you can find in the description What you can see in the background now is a new program that I coded that is working now on my PC and uh, I call that seed scanner because it is scanning through seeds and uh, taking note of the important stuff of the seed. And uh, let me quickly stop this program and just give you a brief uh, explanation of what this program does. So if we stop it now, uh, we can see that it takes note of each seed that it scans. And you can see the uh, emit up here in the right corner, but that's not where it actually is. It's sitting on my left screen and for the recording I overlaid it here like in the seed finder videos and um, Then it's taken note of the coordinates of spawn and then from spawn the closest planes the closest sunflower planes the closest forest the closest flower forest and so on with all the criteria that you can see up here It's 22 different biomes and structures that I'm scanning in the seed and uh, the range that I'm scanning is up to uh, 3000 blocks and uh, what is different about this program in, com in comparison to my old one is that I actually can take note of the um, coordinates where the stuff is. This is not the exact coordinates but it's an estimate based on the pixel um, of a calculation that's based on the pixels on the amidst uh, screen and uh, therefore I can then calculate a distance to spawn of that biome. So if we scroll over here we can see that these are the distances of the um, yeah, uh, biomes to spawn and uh, we can see that for example the plains is in this last seed here 69 blocks from spawn, sunflower plains 376 and so on. And for example, the Savannah M is 3,909 blocks from spawn. And then there are some left blank, but they are actually not blank. Uh, they are actually uh, just uh, colored in white. If you we take a look over here, for example, the ice spikes is not found on the seed. So we set the coordinate value to 10,000. So we punish um, the seed for not having an ice spikes. And uh, that then goes into the calculation of a rating of the seed. And that rating you can see over here, it's calculated by something that is called uh, least square. So we're taking the squares of all the radius or the distances to spawn and adding them up. And then out of this we're creating this number. And the higher this number here in the end is, the better the seed is. So if we just sort them now and go to the very top, uh, we can see that we are having a seed up here that has all the biomes already, uh, just missing out the mesa. And um, yeah, with this we can uh, then have a list of distances to spawn. And the cool thing about this is that I can create a database out of this where um, you can put in a list of criteria that you want to match. For example, you are searching for a seed that has a forest at spawn. So we can say, okay, forest around 100 blocks from spawn. We want to have a jungle within 1000 blocks and a um, ice spikes within 2000 blocks. And uh, with these three criteria, we can scan through all these seeds and take a look which seed are actually uh, matching that criteria and putting them in a list so you can uh, take a look at these. And that's something that not only I want to do, I want to um, make it possible so you can go to the internet, to a, a Google document, put in your criteria, and then it gives you, after a bit of calculation, because it takes a while, I have did some testings with it, um, a list of 20 seats uh, where you can uh, then choose which one you want to take, or if you want to uh, make a new request and 
make a new search and uh, adjust your criteria so you can uh, search yourself through my database that I'm creating and <coughs> I think that this is something you might like. If you do, give me some feedback about this in the comments because I'm working quite uh, hard on this. It takes quite a lot of time. If we um, uh, yeah, think about the lines in the program that I have in, uh, let me quickly take a look. Uh, you can't see it right now, but uh, yeah, it's quite a huge program by now. It's a lot of thinking going into this and adjusting and um, yeah, quite a lot of time I'm putting into this just for having a database of seeds because that is something I think uh, that is uh, needed if you uh, want to find your own seed and uh, you can't write a program uh, that uh, searches for you. So I want to publish, um, make my database uh, yeah, viewable for the public on the internet and uh, I guess that that's already it for today's video. I hope that you don't mind that I don't have a seed spotlight today, but I just quickly wanted to show you the progress on my new program that I'm doing here. And hopefully <coughs> until next week, I will have this done so um, you can start using this. But I will make a video explaining how it works then for you. Just showing you it works. I can find the coordinates of seeds, of biomes on seeds and um, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah, leave me a comment what you think about this and I guess that I will see you then in the next video.